Well, part two, working on the Mustang. And my big thing to do today was to um, get the retracks working, you know, before I put the wing halves together, before I monocoat it and all that kind of stuff. I like to get certain things working. There's some things that I will actually monocoat first and then add the additional parts to so that the monocoat goes under the part slightly and I don't have to cut it right up to it. But what I've been working on is the gear uh, this morning and I'll show you what I got. So let's see what we got here. What I did is just a sort of a Mickey Mouse setup with a battery I had here and a small speed control, which is only a 20 amp, but it's enough to send voltage to this. So, uh... So I call that a success. Uh, it's very solid. Very nice, it's even at the right angle. Uh, it should be maybe a tilted out, uh, tilted out a little bit more forward, uh, so that it's, uh, this tire should be over or ahead of the leading edge a bit. And from what I can see, it is probably just enough. I'm gonna check with my E-Flight Mustang at home because that thing ground handles so well, uh, but I'm very happy with this. It worked out very well. These retracks are from Motion RC and they're terrific. They're very heavy duty. They'll work with a 15 pound airplane, which this won't be. So what I had to do, you can see here, is put the retrack over and trying to keep this in camera and cutting it so you can see it at the same time. It's kind of interesting. You know, and I know that you're listening, Elliot, they probably have a mount you can get for the cell phone because I'm done using my big expensive 4K camera to do these videos. Somebody's got to shoot it, and that's Mary, and she's got things to do. So, um, but you see basically so what I'm having to do is I'm having to remove this material to get the gear to fit right. And there's a lot of glue under there, so I have to go under here, under here and pop that out. So now we have the second retract hooked up. Cut the uh, stainless steel, make a, um, um, a shaft for it, which fits in here rather well, and bend that and put the wheel on, and that'll take care of, care of both retracks. Okay, so I'm about to glue the two halves of the wing together. Uh, I'm pretty sure because uh, I got the spar in there just for now. I do have. Okay, I'm just making sure I have a way, and I do, to get the servos in for the flaps and the ailerons on this big P51. It's big to me. Um, but what I wanted to establish, and I took the uh, struts out because what I'm happening is there's a little bit of binding going now. Luckily, these have um, a surge protector. It shuts it off when it feels some resistance. I have to cut down a little bit more here because when the wheels drop down in there, it's hitting the edge of that wood and it, it's stopping it. It needs to be at that height, but they're going down just a little too far. So I got to remove that material in there. And I'm going to make new struts tomorrow. I'm going to stop by uh, Burns um, Winter Hobbies and pick up some 316 piano wire. But I wanted to show you that these are working very well. It's their down position and... There's our up position. They're very, very strong. You do not want to stick your finger into there. Very, very nice. Thank you, Motion RC, for these wonderful retracks. These things are just beautiful. Um, and it's quite the modern update to, uh, to this plane. So that went very smoothly. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is um, glue the two halves of the wing together and uh, start putting in the servos. They're gonna make everything work uh, before I cover it. 
Okay, so the wing is together and it's, uh, you can see these coming out for the retracts. There'll be the same thing going on for the uh, ailerons and the flaps. Uh, the retracts went in very well, as you know, and the wings all bound together and kind of set overnight. It's a combination of white glue and uh, 30 minute epoxy. Put the halves together, this is very, 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 very strong. So that's gonna do it for today. Uh, I'm starting to work a bit on the fuselage to figure out where the servos are gonna go. And most importantly, how the battery's gonna go in because we're gonna have a 6S battery. I've got a lot of room back in there. And I just have to cut a hole here, have the battery come out about this far. I'll have room to adjust it because there's rails in there, which is what's really cool. As you can see, those rails go all the way back so I can make a perfect battery tray. And then put the battery in from, excuse the mess, from here. So this, this will, be easily removed, take it off like that, put the battery in, connect it, put this down, flip the plane over and go fly. So that's what we're gonna do. That's it for the day, I'll see you tomorrow.